around social media, some people saying, well, you ought to swab your throat. Don't swab your nose. If you swab your throat, you'll get better results in the COVID test. So we ask a local doctor, is this true or not? Here's On Your Side's Kaylee Tracy. That's the way Omicron is functioning. It's more present in our saliva than it would be in our mucus. And that's what some of these, again, non-peer-reviewed studies are finding. But that doesn't mean you should swab your throat instead of your nose when you test for COVID, Dr. Sharag Patel, Assistant Chief Medical Officer at UF Health Jacksonville says. Well, that's not how these tests are designed. When this first started, the manufacturers studied and designed these tests to produce the best results. They looked at it in a bunch of different ways and ultimately settled on the nose being the most accurate method of getting your results. Not to say that there's not manufacturers out there who are, are actively working on saliva tests because maybe that's ultimately gonna prove to be the most accurate. But right now, the way that the instructions are written are how we should be following these tests. Patel says the biggest cause of false positives or false negatives is collection error. The FDA also says to follow test instructions to avoid invalid results or injuries. Patel says the best time to test is four to six days from when you are exposed. PCR tests, he says, are the most accurate. If you swab yourself too early or if you swab yourself too late, you may actually miss that window and you're going to end up with a negative test. Uh, even though you might be on your way to becoming contagious or you're on your way down from being contagious. So, so again, it's not necessarily that these tests aren't valuable or useful. It's that in some instances, they're not going to apply to your situation. Regardless, Patel says follow the instructions on your at-home test. I know that people are saying, hey, anecdotally, swab your throat, you're going to get, you know, more accurate results. But, but that's just, that's not proven. If you can't get a test and feel sick, Patel says err on the side of caution and quarantine. Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News on your side. That's some really helpful.